Welcome back to Unscripted with me, Francesca, on Beyond. It's time now for me to bring you your weekly goodness of all things style and all things fashion. While this week I became a believer in Mumbai, Aaron caught up with Indian and international designers at the Asian Designer Week 2017. Let's go see what he's got. A day to go for the Asian Designer Week Summer Resort 2017 Season 4. Hi everyone, I'm Aaron Lingdo and I'm here to bring you all the fun and madness that goes behind prepping for the three-day mega event. With more than 48 designers from Asia, we're in for the treats of a lifetime. Asian Designer Week embodies the strong bond that exists between Asian countries with respect to the cultural values, traditions and heritage despite the diversities. Let's not waste more time, follow me as we go check out the fittings. We are right here, why don't you take a look around? The atmosphere is tense, or am I the only one feeling it? Let's go find out. As you can look all around, yeah. it's pretty chaotic, but there's always a method to the madness. You did this last year, yes. right? How do you manage to control this chaos? Well, I think we've get, got getting adept at it, yeah. but there's also, like I said, there's a method to the madness, yeah. and it's been growing from strength to strength. The Fashion Week has grown bigger in volume mm -hmm. in terms of designers taking yeah. part. So the chaos has also increased. But the fact is that we have a great backstage team. We have great model coordinators who are coordinating all of that yeah. and figuring it out. It's the first day of shows. It's the Asian Designer Week. The event focuses entirely on showcasing designers from different parts of the country and continent. It's a platform that brings together designers from different cultures with one thing in common, and that is pure talent. So let's go check out all the action. Kicking off the event at the Asian Designer Week 2017 was designer Rinku Sopti. With Ikkat as the primary drive, she showcased a collection that was both young and chic. Adding to the grandeur was model and actress Gohar Khan, who set the ramp on fire as the showstopper. It's actually overwhelming for me because uh, emotionally I'm uh, quite deep there right now because I'm walking for the second time for Rinku. And when I heard that she wants me back uh, after the first time, I was I was touched and I felt like, wow, I mean, she must love me. Um, and I love her back. I love her clothes. It's very wearable. It's so feminine. Um, and the fact that she doesn't forget her Indian roots uh, whenever she's designing. Every time she makes, you know, comes up with a line, uh, she uses Indian karigars or Indian fabrics. She goes to villages and uses their work and obviously generates employment for the people there. Uh, but the fact that it's such a beautiful blend between Indian and Western is what makes her beautiful also. Into my question to you, let's uh, walk us through the inspiration behind the collection this year. You know, it was, we uh, have always worked with weavers and we always take a theme. So yeah. this time it was Pocham Palli, okay. which is, you know, Ikkat. Yeah. So we took Ikkat and we wanted to really do a very young and chic collection which okay. the youngsters identify with. So what about the, the hues that I see this time, they're a little bit subtle, right? Yeah, so tell us the story we, behind yeah, that. They're subtle and we've not used many reds and yeah. you know too many except for like we've used uh, on whites uh, reds yeah. but we haven't really used the usual uh, colour palette. Yeah. It's very soft but then it's something which is very wearable every day so you can really wear it over, over the time. <laughs> Asian designer brand WYCI showcased a 
tasteful collection that's unique and edgy. The label resonates well with the new age man who is not shy to take risks. I think the intent for us was to glamorize power dressing. Uh, we love masculine, edgy, structured dressing but like with playful accents. And that's why the collection's name is uh, called the Fringe Benefits. It's called the Fringe, fringe Benefits. Benefits. Yeah. So literally and figuratively, you can see yeah. we've used the fringe in like a myriad ways. Yeah. And uh, the intent being to make uh, make power dressing more playful. It was a starry affair for designer duo Jyoti and Ricky as the celebrated supermodel Carol Gracious strutted down the ramp as the showstopper. Always feels exciting and new and and nervous. The nervousness, the butterfly still happens. Many years later, they still do. So, and each time it feels like a new process. And closing the event this year was designer Anupama Dayal for her label Anupama. The finale certainly proved to be a mega hit with Anupama's freshly filled designs with bright hues and patterned flowers. And that wraps up Asian Designer Week Summer Resort 2017. We went and we saw. Trends this time just blew the lid off this place. I just don't seem to get enough of fashion. But like they say, all good things must come to an end. So, until next year, stay in style.